Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm Melissa and today's video is going to be a little bit different than what I've done before. Um, I recently started getting BoxyCharm as PR to my PO box and I have a couple boxes that I wanted to share with you guys. I haven't opened them. I don't know what's in them. I The only thing I know about BoxyCharm is that it's a, it's a $21 a month subscription box that is supposed to come with four to five full size products and it's supposed to have a product value of over $100 per box. So all of that sounds really good to me and I'm really excited to see what came in these boxes. I am gonna say though, this is no fault of BoxyCharm, but I'm totally on the thumbnail. This is probably gonna like super impose a picture of like what the box looks like because you guys, this is how my boxes came. And this is not a joke. Like this is really what they look like. Um, I'm not even sure if everything is in this one that's supposed to be in it. And I think this is more of like a shipping problem. Um, like I said, not anything to do with BoxyCharm. This obviously wasn't them that did this. Um, but my PO box guy said that it looked like this when it got to him, if that makes sense. So hopefully everything's in there. If not, and you guys got the same box, let me know what's missing in the comments down below and make sure that you're subscribed to this channel if you like the content that i'm putting out and give this video a thumbs up because that tells me if you like this style of video um, and it'll tell me if i should make more or not this channel is still fairly new so i'm testing out a bunch of content on here so far you guys are really liking like shopping hauls or like large family um like themed videos where we kind of talk about like yeah like groceries or couponing or stuff like that um but this is just stuff that i like that i want to test out on here and if you guys like it then i will keep making it for you um if you are interested in seeing ipsy bags uh, make sure to go over to our family vlog channel that's the channel where i put videos of me and gabrielle my teen daughter unboxing all of our ipsy bags and this next video that we're going to be making is going to be a huge one because i think we each have two or three and we're gonna to try to open them all in the same video. So definitely go over there and check that out. So for the first box I'm gonna open, this is the one that's the least mangled. Um, this box I believe was their June box and I did get it in June. However, we were traveling the entire month of June so there was no way I could film or anything with it. So I'm just gonna unbox both of these in the same video so you guys kind of see what comes in them and I can kind of see what comes in them. It just makes the most sense. If I like this and you guys like this and I end up filming more videos in the future, at that point it'll probably only be one per month. But this is like a double bonus video for you guys. Um, okay, so opening the box, this is what it looks like. Uh, it has a little card inside that says BoxyCharm Getaway. And it does on the back have a list of all the products it looks like that are inside and prices. So that's kind of helpful. So I do really like that the back of this card has the prices and it has the product information because um, I know a lot of subscription boxes like Ipsy don't typically tell you what's, what it even is or like how much it costs or anything. Um, so I think this is super helpful and I'm already seeing some brand names that I really, really like. So immediately I'm seeing something from Tarte. Tarte is one of my favorite makeup companies. It looks like this is a palette. The MSRP is $36, so I'm really excited to see what this is. Um, I wear Tarte foundation, it's my favorite foundation, and I do really love their eyeshadows. Oh my gosh, how cute is this, guys? So this is, I feel like I'm gonna love this. Yeah, like how freaking cute. So this is a bunch of neutrals. Let me cover the mirror so I can show you guys a little bit better. A bunch of neutral eyeshadows. This looks like a great palette for traveling and i think it's really cute i'm really familiar with their formulas and stuff and i really do enjoy them so this is like actually amazing that this came because this is something i'll definitely get a lot of use out of plus the packaging is like adorable like how cute is that the next thing that i'm pulling out of here is a skin and company truffle therapy whipped cleansing cream is this for skin yes so this is a face wash that retails for 25 dollars. i've never heard of this brand before but can I open it? Oh, no, it's got a plastic seal. Um, I've never heard of this brand before, but I'm definitely excited to try it. I'm actually on the hunt for like a new face wash because I don't know, I just feel like the one I've been using is not the business anymore. Oh, so it's like a cream. It smells really good. It smells like coconut kind of. Um, so I'm really excited about this. It says it's made in Italy. It sounds bougie. 
So yeah, really excited to try that out. And it's definitely like a full size product, which is really cool. The next thing I'm seeing in here is something from Dominique Cosmetics. Not super familiar with this brand either. Um, it is a full size product. It says it retails for $17 and it is lemonade lip gloss. And I love lip gloss, so I'll probably like this. Also, anything that's like not for me, I have enough girls that they would totally love it. Oh my gosh, this is really pretty. So I love the packaging. It feels nice and heavy. And the color of this lip gloss is like really cute. Yeah, super wearable. Oh my gosh, it smells like candy. That's so funny. So I thought it would smell like lemonade because it's called lemonade, but it smells like cotton candy. It smells good though. So that's really cool. So that's in there. I'll definitely use that. The next thing I pulled out is uh, something called Dirty Little Secret. It appears to be a lip liner. Yes, it is a lip liner. I'm not gonna open this right now because it kind of does have the color on the ends. Um, so it's kind of like a nude blushy, little darker tone than I usually wear, but definitely a wearable color. Um, so I'm interested to try this. I'm not familiar with this brand either. I do really like that about some of these subscription boxes is that you get to kind of test out products that you wouldn't necessarily buy at the store for yourself. I've definitely found a bunch of brands that I really do love that way. So I think that's super cool that like some stuff is, you know, brands that you recognize and maybe used before and then they throw in some kind of like different things that you will probably like, but you, you know, are trying for the first time. So the last thing in this June box is, it's, it's called No Pore Blim. Prime Essence, I'm assuming it's a primer, yes. Let your makeup stay a while with your new touch and soul, no pore blem prime essence. So definitely a primer. What's the, is it the brand? Oh, touch and soul. Okay, so yeah, again, not a brand I'm super familiar with. Um, this definitely is a full size primer. I actually am almost out of primer. So if I like this, that's gonna be really cool. Oh, it's really liquidy. Definitely not a consistency that I'm used to unless it's like, something that I was just supposed to shake and I didn't. Oh no, it's just all liquidy. Huh, if you guys have used this before, let me know. Cause it's almost like, it's like super shiny and I'm not really understanding how that would work as a primer, but I will definitely try it. It says it's made in Korea. So maybe this is just the way they make it there. Maybe it'll dry different too. It just almost feels like, um, like aloe vera, like where it's kind of slimy, I guess that would be like the best way to explain it. But it's still like shiny and I put it on a little bit ago, so I don't know. I guess we'll see how that works. So that's it for my June box. Overall, I am really excited to try most of the products in here. I'm probably least excited about the primer, most excited about this awesome Tarte eyeshadow palette. Uh, really excited about that face wash though and the lip gloss smells really good. So I would say overall, this is definitely worth to me at least the $21. Um, so I'm really into this so far. I, I would say give this like an eight out of 10 uh, for a box this month. I know with um, some of the other ones I've opened like Ipsy, it's a very hit or miss and some months are like really good and other ones are like not that great. Um, so it'll be interesting to see when I open this other box here in a minute if it's the same, you know, as far as like the products goes, like do I, if, do I think it's the same value or not. All right, so now we're gonna get into the July box, and this is the one that really had a rough time in shipping. It does look pretty full still, so that's why I'm hoping that like not a lot of products or anything fell out of it. Um, so I'm gonna have to actually dump everything out and then find the card, and then we can talk about the products. Yeah, okay, that's everything. This is so weird. It's even like somebody tried to duct tape it shut and that didn't help. The card is super cute. It says Oh Natural and on the back, just like the June box, it says all of the products with the prices. And there's even like hashtags, which I think the other one had as well. And I guess that's for like, if you wanna share it on social media. Um, but yeah, okay, so I'm kind of excited about this. Let me see, let me just count to see if the right number of products are in here or if we lost some in shipping. So this says one, two, three, four, five. One, two. There are all five products in this box which is awesome. The first one that I grabbed here is a gel liner in Desert Taupe from a company named Appeal. And this is for eyes or lips. Kind of like the other box, I'm not gonna open it just because it does have the color on the end here and I'm not really in need of a new lip or eyeliner right now. But I do like gel liners, so it'll be interesting to try this one out to see how I like it. And this one retails for $21. 
Um, so cool, yeah, I'm excited about that. The next thing that I wanna show you guys, which I actually am really excited about, is from Butter London. There is another eyeshadow palette. And these colors, I'll try to cover the mirror so I can show you the colors. These colors are really great as well. Good little travel palette. I, if this is, these two boxes are um, a good, you know, if they're a good example of like what normally comes, it kind of tells me there's like one kind of each product, I guess, if that makes sense. So like, it seems like each one had a palette, each one had an eye or lip liner, each one has a lip product. Um, and I kind of like that because it's a little bit more variation, but you kind of know what you're going to get. You're going to get like one thing from each category. Um, and this is really cool too. So these two little palettes, I'm really excited to try. And this palette actually retails for $32, it says. Um, and I've tried this brand before. This is probably one of the only brands that I'm familiar with. Um, and I did like it. So it'll be interesting to test that one out. The next thing is, oh, it's brushes. I love getting brushes in makeup kits. Um, and these are Luxie brushes, and I really like Luxie brushes. Oop, actually my favorite one, I totally just dropped that. My favorite brush that I'm using right now for eyeshadow is a Luxie brush. So these are cute, so they're actually like natural wood handles, and there are three sizes. This one's almost like, yeah, I was gonna say it's a foundation brush. Um, large eye blending brush, a foundation brush, and this is like a small precision crease brush. I wish actually that they'd put in a more usable eyeshadow shadow blending brush because their smaller sizes of like these are really phenomenal. But I find that I hardly ever use the really large blending brushes. I don't know, maybe it's me, I have weird eyes. Um, and I don't typically put foundation on with a brush either, but I'll try it out with this because it looks like it looks like it might work well. So we'll see how that works out. Um, the next thing in this box, this is from Elemis. Elemis, am I saying that right? Elemis, it's a superfood vital veggie mask and it retails for $35. It looks like it's definitely a full size product and it has avocado and broccoli seed oil. So I like masks, I'll definitely try this out. I've actually been using like a charcoal mask recently because I just feel like my pores have been needing some help. So uh, it'll be interesting to see if this can help me with my skin stuff. I'm really trying to find like a new skincare brand. I'm really on the struggle bus with this, guys. I'm trying to open it to smell it and I'm having a really difficult time. It smells almost like Purology shampoo, which is like kind of minty, if you guys have ever used that shampoo before. Um, I actually really like that smell. I only wanted to open it and smell it though because I am weird with smells sometimes if it's a skin thing. Um, but I do feel like I'll definitely use this because the smell doesn't bug me. So the last thing in this box is a lip gloss from LMR Cosmetics. It is called Mother of Pearl Lip Gloss. It retails for $10. And this is super sparkly. This reminds me of um, like the lip glosses that the girls have been wearing recently. I don't know if I will actually wear this just because it's got some like pretty chunky glitters in there, but I know that they would love it if I passed it on to them, so I'm probably gonna do that. And it comes in really cute packaging, so yeah, I think they'll definitely like it. So overall thoughts, I think for 21 bucks, this is a really good value. I'm really excited to try all the products that I received, and I will double check in my email. If they gave me like a discount code or anything for you guys, I'll make sure to leave that down in the description box below. So go down there and check that out. And yeah, let me know in the comments if you like this type of video so I know if you want to see me do another one next month. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!